The science of black holes is so challenging that some scientists question whether they exist at all. Despite their fearsome reputation, we've never actually seen one. Black holes are everywhere. They're all over the universe. They're all throughout our galaxy. But that doesn't mean that they're easy to find. They're black and space is black, and black on black is kind of hard to see in a picture of space. This is paradoxical, because scientists believe black holes are born in some of the brightest explosions in the universe. Rising from the corpses of detonated stars, many times larger than our sun. The star that burns for 10 million years collapses to form a black hole in a period of seconds. As it collapses, the outer region of the star hits the core, triggering a huge explosion, a supernova. We see the bang, but not what's left behind. A dead core with the enormous mass of the star crushed down into an infinitesimal, tiny area. From this minuscule, high-mass core, a black hole is born. The flow of gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. But how can scientists claim that black holes exist if we can't even see them? You could say that about the existence of the atom. We knew they had existed for decades, centuries, before we had actually seen one in some sort of imaging device. And so it's the same sort of thing with black holes. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Not seeing black holes, but knowing they're there is a possibility, just like we know that wind is there even though we can't see air. Air is invisible, but when the wind blows, its effects can be measured. It's the same with black holes. You just need to know what to look for. While they emit no light themselves, black holes are tremendous sources of X-rays. And that's because as things get close to a black hole, they're accelerated by the gravity, and they can heat up to millions of degrees. Million degree gas gives you lots of X-rays. To find and measure these telltale X-rays, scientists turn to the New Star Space Telescope. In 2017, it spots a burst of X-rays in a cluster called 47 Tucana at the edge of the Milky Way. When scientists analyze the data, they realize they're looking at two objects orbiting each other very closely. All we see is that there's a star being ripped apart and gas is spiraling down to a very dense, very dark object. So something weird is going on. As one of the objects accretes matter off the other, it causes it to emit x-rays. And those x-rays can be used then to trace out the orbits and therefore extract the mass. When scientists work out the size and mass of the two objects, they find the first is the fading corpse of a sun-like star. And while the second object is tiny, it has the mass of a giant. Is this an elusive black hole? What we're talking about here is an object that is very massive, very small, very dense, with intense gravity. But it turns out there are lots of different ways to create an object like that. There is another type of ultra-dense object out there in the universe called a neutron star. Neutron stars form in the same way we think black holes form. When stars die, explode, but then collapse down into a tiny ball of matter. 
gravitational attraction of a neutron star is enormous, pulling in gas, dust, and asteroids. But light can still escape. Black holes and neutron stars are kind of cousins. But in the case of a neutron star, it didn't have quite enough mass to collapse out of control. So you can sort of think of it as just barely hanging back from collapsing into a black hole. The tiny object discovered by New Star does have enormous mass. But size and mass alone are not enough to prove it's a black hole. Cosmologists need more evidence. They can't see black holes, but is there another way? What if they could hear them? Think of two massive cars colliding. Boom, when they do, they radiate sound. And then we can tell whether or not that collision occurred and maybe even how far away it was. It's like that when black holes collide. So, by listening for a black hole crash, could scientists conclusively prove they exist? There are gravitational waves going through this room all the time. Every time I move my hands like I just did, I create gravitational waves. The problem is, gravity is so weak that you don't detect those gravitational waves. In order to detect those disturbances in space and time, you have to have cataclysmic events involving massive objects. Black holes are some of the densest objects in the universe. So, we should be able to hear and measure the waves created when they collide. LIGO, the Long Interferometry Gravitational Wave Observatory, listens for waves that can come from over a billion light years away. In 2017, LIGO heard an enormous crash. Two very massive objects collided at near the speed of light, and one of the most energetic events that we've ever witnessed in the history of humankind. Two ultra-heavy, ultra-dense objects whirl around each other, hurling powerful gravitational waves through space. The closer they fall toward each other, the more gravitational energy they throw out. Finally, they collide in one of the most violent events in the universe. The smash sends out immense gravitational waves that ripple across intergalactic space until, eventually, LIGO detects them. Listening to a gravitational wave is like listening to a musical instrument. If it's making certain tones or certain vibrations, you can figure out the size of the musical instrument, the type of the musical instrument, who's playing the musical instrument. 